Another thing I recommend is you make statements instead of asking question. Simple change of mind, simply like this. Let's hang out at seven at so-and-so. Boom. That's a statement, right? It's more of a, like, let's do this. Here's an invitation. When you ask questions, do you want to hang out? You know, do you want to hang out? What bar do you want to go to? Where do you want to go? Who do you want to go? What are you going to do? What are you doing? When are you doing? It's questions. You're a man. You got to lead. So you make statements. You're a freaking general, dude. Let's hang out. Let's meet up. Let's do this and this at so-and-so time. You're not getting emotional when, you know, these shit tests come. You're being a solid dude. So here's a couple things that the men have said. <clears throat> Parker said no emojis. I agree. If you're going to use emoji with a woman, very, very rarely. Okay, it looks weak. It doesn't look masculine. It looks soft. Get out of the habit of sending smiley face, poo-poo heads, uh, thumbs up, okays, this and that. Fuck emojis, man. All right? Express yourself through your words. Price said get to the point. Very true. Get to the point. Why are you talking? You're not trying to get to know the girl from your damn text. You're trying to get to know the girl on a date. You're trying to hear what she has to say. Let her see your personality shine and come forth. You're trying to, uh, you know, set up that date. That's the hardest part of closing the deal. Seriously, getting the numbers easy, making the approaches easy. It's a little nerve. You know, you're a little nervous at first, but it's easy. The hardest part is getting the freaking date. So you got to get to the point sooner rather than later. <clears throat> All right. Xavier said spontaneously call only text to schedule dates. Takes balls. Um, you know, some people have different opinions on this. I would always try to call. I know, I think the newer generation isn't as comfortable calling. I think that uh, they may see it as a little weird, but it's never been weird. That's what our phones are for. That's the main reason for a phone is to call somebody. Isaac said, always say less than necessary. If you're sending paragraphs, I don't even know what to tell you. Save that for when you meet up. Listen, if your text bubbles look bigger than hers, not good. Not good at all. All right? You can gauge. I can usually, we can gauge as a group interest from a woman by how she simply, how much she responds to what you're saying and how you respond to her. So she says like two words, haha, funny, and you respond with like three sentences. Not good, man. Not good. Um, a couple of things that we've also developed as a group is uh, NAMO, you know, neg and move on. Which is simply, you know, if, if you're not getting anywhere, dude, you've tried, you've sent the invitations out, you've, you've been working, sometimes it's best to just neg and move on, all right? If she says, oh, already got a date, neg and move on, leave a, a little bit, they always come back, they'll come back, and if not her, another beautiful woman, and a better woman, better opportunities, they always come back. NAMO to NC, baby, NAMO to NC, what does NC mean? It means North Carolina, a moniker for no contact. Sometimes you need to neg and move on, go no contact. Seriously, if you, that's the best thing you could do. If you've tried everything, you've tried every trick in the bag, go no contact. Take a trip to North Carolina, all right? Because you will see that by you disappearing, you leave her mind to wander. And a person's imagination can go everywhere. She starts thinking, what's he doing? Who's he talking to? You know, he's looking good. Why did, maybe I let a good one go, right? No contact, dude. You got better, bigger and better things to work out in your life. You got purpose you got to be after. Stop wasting time on these chicks. Next, Rhett said, don't text too much or too fast. You don't want to look desperate or too interested. Victor said, do not ask when setting up a date. Say, Let's do that at that time, at this place. Boom. I'm telling you, statements, first questions. Change your life right there, man. Change your life. Brandon said, be the man with the plan. If they know what time to arrive or when you will pick them up, you're all set. Keep it fun and don't say more than you have to, especially if you're meeting up that day. Ty said, clarity, clarity, clarity. Never dance around a topic. Say what you mean, mean what you say. I like it. We'll uh, we'll do uh, one more. <clears throat> uh, 
Brian, every guy is going to have their own style based on their personality. General tips, do not drag the conversation. Text with a purpose. Don't be eager to respond instantly. Let the mysteriousness of what you both are doing marinate the excitement and romance. Be direct and know what you want. When are you free? Are you available on Friday? Man, Brian, come on, dude. We just said make statements, not questions. This is the Drake of the server. It's our man, Brian. That's it, man. That's it. That's all I'm reading from the group. But listen, last thing I got to tell you, um, you know, instead of getting angry and getting pissed when they say, I'm busy, oh, you know, you you try to set up a date, it didn't work. These are a few things you can try. We we came up with this as a group. Um, we'll try again next year, okay? You know, if she's, oh, I'm busy, I got, I'm hanging out with my girls, I have a birth. All right, great, we'll try again next year. You're, sh you're showing, okay, I don't really care. I got options. Not too concerned. I'm into you, but, I, you know, we'll try again next year. I'm not really bothered by this. And they usually will respond. <clears throat> the next thing is, uh, you know, if they are giving you shit, maybe they're angry. We had one guy that accidentally te texted a different girl than the girl he meant to text. <laughs> and they were going to go on a date. And uh, she got upset. She said, I know you're talking to another girl. You know, just F you. And he said, uh, you're sexy when you're angry. Right? Calm the situation down. Use a little bit of humor. Don't freak out, man. That's the best thing I can tell you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if this helps. If you're dealing with any of these situations. And if you're having any trouble with girls, you just, you know, even relationship. We've helped guys in marriages. Whatever. We're here as a group. This is the High Through Most Brotherhood. The best men's group in the world. And I hope to talk to you. Hope you can meet some of these amazing guys in this group. I'll see you soon. Peace.